They're side by side, both crash, we'll throw a local lens on the tires, passes for the win. Wheel to wheel off the jump, oh, tractor crashes so high, did you see that? Crustacean so far ahead, Megalodon catching up over the obstacle, so close at the line, who won? Welcome to Our Time for Adventures, Diecast Monster Truck Racing and Reveals. Welcome back everybody to another Diecast Monster Truck Bracket Racing Tournament. The snow here has really started to fly on our track and it's making it extremely difficult for these trucks in this tournament. In the last race we had some huge crashes because the trucks keep losing traction. And today we have a very special race for you as we have 8 Hot Wheels Monster Jam Monster Trucks taking on 8 Spin Master Monster Jam. Let's meet the trucks in the Hot Wheels team. Up first we have the Grave Digger Hot Wheels Monster Truck. Followed by Monster Mutt, Mohawk Warrior, Hot Wheels Firestorm, Higher Education, El Toro Loco, Dragon, and finally we have Crustacean. This is a great looking team with some very iconic trucks. Do these older Hot Wheels monster trucks have what it takes to beat the newer Spin Master team? We will find out soon. It's always a heated debate as to which brand of diecast monster trucks people like better. Here at Our Time for Adventures, we like them all. And today we will find out which team is faster on our snowy track once and for all. Let's head back over to the pits and meet the trucks in the Spin Master Monster Jam team. Starting with the Megalodon Ride Truck, followed by Bakugan Dragonoid, Blue Thunder, Ice Cream Man, The Retro Grave Digger, Whiplash, Monster Mutt Dalmatian, and Son of a Digger. This is another great looking team of diecast Monster Jam Monster Trucks, including the Megalodon Ride Truck Chase Piece. Which team do you like better and which team do you think will bring home the win today? Before we get the races underway, let's take a look at today's bracket and how the races will lay out. Up first to the track, we will have Spin Master, Son of a Digger, taking on Hot Wheels Grave Digger. This should be a great way to start the tournament as we not only have Father versus Son, but New versus Old. And now for the remainder of the races, we have Spin Master, Monster Mutt Dalmatian, taking on Hot Wheels Monster Mutt. Spin Master Whiplash taking on Hot Wheels Mohawk Warrior. Spin Master Retro Digger taking on Hot Wheels Firestorm. Spin Master Ice Cream Man taking on Hot Wheels Higher Education. Spin Master Blue Thunder taking on Hot Wheels El Toro Loco. Spin Master Bakugan Dragonoid will be racing Hot Wheels Dragon. And Spin Master Megalodon Ride Truck will take on Hot Wheels Crustacean. There sure are some great pairings here in today's event. What do you say we head back over to the track and get these races started? It's been snowing so much here on the track today that we had to call out the dirt crew to clear off the finish line in case there's a photo finish we can tell who wins. Wow. Let's head up to the gates for the first round. Up first, we will have the Spin Master Son of a Digger in the green lane, taking on Hot Wheels Grave Digger in the red lane. Let's go racing. All trucks quick coming down the ramp, but Grave Digger's ahead coming into the jump. Big arrow. Grave Digger starts having problems up on the obstacle and crashes, but still makes it to the line first to take the win. Wow, what a race. Let's take another look from the track cam in slow-mo. As the green flag drops, Grave Digger pulls ahead by about a truck length coming into the jump. Both trucks have a great smooth jump. Grave Digger jumps a little further, has a rough land in the center of the obstacle, and boom, huge flip up over the obstacle to make it to the line to take the win. Wow. Son of a Digger started out behind, but almost made that time up as Grave Digger started to flip over the obstacle. But it is Grave Digger making it to the line first to take the win here in the first race, moving into the next round. Let's head back up to the starting gates for the next race. For this race, we have Spin Master, Monster Mutt Dalmatian in the green lane, taking on Hot Wheels Monster Mutt. Which dog will be faster? Hot Wheels Monster Mutt with a huge hole shot coming down the ramp. What a lead. Big air. Can he make it? Yes. Big flip over the obstacle. Big to the line first to take the win. Wow. What a race that one was. Let's take another look quick. Watch Hot Wheels Monster Mutt in the red lane as the gate drops. He just takes off by about two truck lanes coming into the jump. Has a big jump, lands kind of hard, hits the obstacle, starts to flip. Dalmatian starts to catch up, but Monster Mutt is too far ahead. With the Battle of the Mutts, it is Hot Wheels Monster Mutt coming out top dog in that race, bringing home the win and moving into the second round for Team Hot Wheels. What a race. Let's head back up to the starting gate for the next pair. For this battle, we have Spin Master Whiplash in the green lane, taking on Hot Wheels Mohawk Warrior in the red lane. Let's go racing. Mohawk Warrior so fast coming out of the gate. Hot Wheels is so far ahead off the jumping. Win. Oh, huge crash over the obstacle. And again to the line first for the win. Mohawk Warrior wheelied across the line. That was awesome. Let's take another look. 
As the green flag drops, Mohawk Warrior just shoots down the track. That Mohawk flopping in the air has a huge jump, starts to nose over that hard on the front end and starts to flip over the obstacle, but ends up landing ahead of Whiplash to take the win. What a race. All this heavy snow really seems to be affecting the truck's ability to stay on the tires. We've had some big crashes here so far today, but in that one, it is the red lane. Mohawk Warrior taking the win, moving into the next round. Spin Master has now lost three races. Let's head back up to the starting gates for the next round. In this matchup, we have the Retro Gravedigger from Spin Master in the green lane taking on Hot Wheels Firestorm in the red lane. Let's go racing. This race pretty even coming into the jump. Big air from both trucks, all but they both land hard on the front end. And it is, oh, it's Hot Wheels Firestorm making it across the obstacle to the line just barely to take the win. Retro Digger had a huge crash up there. Let's take another look. This race a lot more even, but Hot Wheels still ahead coming into the jump. As they jump, both trucks start having problems, land hard on the front end, crash up over the obstacle. It is Hot Wheels Firestorm making it over the obstacle and just barely to the line. These older Hot Wheels monster trucks sure are dominating here in the snow today as Hot Wheels Firestorm brings home the fourth win for the Hot Wheels team here so far. These Spin Master trucks better pick up the pace or they're going to be left behind. Let's head back up to the gate for the next round. Next to the track, we have Spin Master Ice Cream Man in the green lane, taking on Hot Wheels Higher Education in the red lane. Let's go racing. Green flag, and they're off. Higher Education pulling so far ahead. Ice Cream Man starting to have bombs coming down the ramp. Oh, Higher Education has a huge crash. Can he make it over the obstacle? This truck's gonna go the furthest. It is Ice Cream Man sliding down the obstacle to take the win. Wow. Let's take another look. These old Hot Wheels monster trucks sure are fast here in the snow today as Higher Education just comes blowing down the ramp, has a huge jump, starts to nose over, lands hard, crashes, Ice Cream Man starts to catch up but crashes on the obstacle and just barely slides down to take the win, wow. I really thought the Hot Wheels diecast monster trucks were going to dominate this entire race today, but it is Spin Master Ice Cream Man in that one bringing home the win for the Spin Master team. So at least Spin Master so far will have somebody in the next round. Let's head back up to the gates and see if Spin Master can do it again. Next up to battle, we have Spin Master Blue Thunder in the green lane, taking on Hot Wheels El Toro Loco. Let's go racing. Here we go, El Toro Loco quick down the ramp, no surprise. Huge jump, oh, but El Toro Loco starts to nose over. Blue Thunder catching up. Oh, El Toro Loco cartwheels over the finish line to take the win. Blue Thunder crashes up on top. Let's take another look. As the green flag drops and the snow continues to fly, El Toro Loco really comes flying down the ramp. Has a huge jump, lands hard on the front. Blue Thunder starts to catch up, but also crashes. El Toro Loco crashes across the line for the win, wow. Spin Master with another difficult race here on this slick, snowy track. And in that one, it is Hot Wheels El Toro Loco taking the win, moving into the next round. That is now five trucks for Hot Wheels moving on and only one for Spin Master. Let's head back up to the gates and see if Spin Master team can put another truck in the next round. For this pair, we have Spin Master Bakugan racing out of the green lane, taking on Hot Wheels Dragon in the red lane. Let's go racing. Green flag, and they're off. Dragon pulling away, coming into the jump. Big air. Bakugan starting to come over to the red side of the track. Oh, huge crash. Who's it going to be? It's Hot Wheels Dragon going the furthest for the win again. Wow. Let's take another look from the track cam. The green flag drops, and that green Hot Wheels Dragon is really flying. Ahead by about two truck wings coming into the jump, but Bakugan starts to head over to the red side. Dragon starts to have problems on the obstacle. They crash they together. Tumbling down towards the line, it is Dragon taking the win. In the Battle of the Dragons, it is the Bakugan Dragonoid from Spin Master getting slain by the Hot Wheels Dragon. And Dragon is moving into the next round. Let's head back up to the gates for the final race of the first round. In this one, we have the Spin Master Chase Piece Megalodon Ride Truck in the green lane, taking on Hot Wheels Crustacean in the red lane. Green flag, Hot Wheels so fast, coming down the ramp, big air. Crustacean starts to have problems on the landing. Megalodon's catching up, they will start to cartwheel the Crustacean crossing the line first. Wow, this is intense. Let's take another look. As they launch and start down the ramp, Crustacean just starts to pull away from Megalodon. Crustacean to the ramp first. Big Air starts to have problems, lands hard, crashes. Megalodon starts to catch up and boom, they start to cartwheel and wow, Crustacean just barely crossed the line first. The first round of this race has been absolutely wild with some huge crashes and close calls. And in that one, it is Hot Wheels Crustacean bringing home yet another win for the Hot Wheels team. That is 
seven trucks moving on for Hot Wheels and only one for Spin Master. What do you say we head on over to the pits and meet the trucks moving into the second round? The old snowy version of the Hot Wheels sure seem to be handling the snowy track a whole lot better than these new Spin Master trucks, as Hot Wheels has seven trucks moving into the second round and Spin Master only has one. Can Spin Master Ice Cream Man hold on and make it to the finals or will Hot Wheels continue to dominate this race? We will find out shortly, but for now, let's meet the trucks moving into the second round. Up first, we will have Hot Wheels Gravedigger and Mohawk Warrior, followed by Monster Mutt and Hot Wheels Firestorm. Then we will have the Spin Master Ice Cream Man taking on Hot Wheels Dragon, and finally Hot Wheels El Toro Loco Racing Crustacean. Which of these eight trucks has the speed and talent to make it up here on the podium and be considered today's winner of this tournament? Let's head back up to the gates and get the second round started to find out. Up first, we have the Gravedigger in the green lane, taking on Mohawk Warrior in the red lane. Let's go racing. And they're off, both trucks side by side, coming into the jump. Big arrow, Gravedigger starts having problems, crashes on the obstacle. Oh, Mohawk Warrior has problems also. Gravedigger pops it in reverse and crosses the line for the win. Wow, what a race. Let's take another look from that in the track cam. From this slow-mo angle, you can see as the green flag drops, both trucks are side by side coming into the jump. Gravedigger has a big jump, but starts to nose over and has problems right on the obstacle, flips hard. But then Mohawk Warrior starts to crash. Gravedigger pops it in reverse, comes back across the line for the win. Wow. That right there was like no other race that we've seen yet. That was awesome. Gravedigger did everything he could to take the win. Pops it in reverse and crosses the line first to move on into the semi-final round over Mohawk Warrior. That was awesome. But let's head back up to the starting gate for the next race. For this one, we have Hot Wheels Monster Mutt in the green lane taking on Hot Wheels Firestorm in the red lane. Here we go. Green flag, they're even coming down the ramp. Both start side by side. Big arrow. They both land hard on the dodge. They'll start to crash. Who's going to make it to the line first? It is Monster Mutt making it to the line first to take the win. Wow. Let's take another look and see what happened to Hot Wheels Firestorm. As the green flag drops, both trucks are side by side coming down the ramp into the jump. But both trucks also start to have problems. Both lean forward, land hard on the front wheel. Both start to flip. But it is Monster Mutt making it further across the obstacle, landing across the line for the win. With Hot Wheels being so dominant here in this tournament today, it's too bad that Hot Wheels Firestorm is now eliminated. But hey, Hot Wheels Monster Mutt is still moving on into the semi-final round. Let's head back up to the gates now for the next race. Okay, here we go. We have the last Spin Master remaining in the green lane, taking on Dragon in the red lane. Let's go racing. Both trucks so fast coming down the ramp into the jump. Oh, Dragon starts that problems has a huge crash over the Oh, wow, Ice Cream will take the win, but did you see how high Dragon flipped? We definitely have to take another look at this one in slow-mo. That was wild. As both trucks launch and start coming down the ramp, they're side by side coming into the jump, but watch Dragon in that red lane. Has a big jump, starts to flip forward, hits the obstacle and pops way in the air. Look at that. There's no way that truck is okay, but Ice Cream takes the win. That right there has to be one of the biggest crashes we've seen here on our Time for Adventures diecast monster truck racing. We have to get that dragon truck back over to the pits and make sure everything's all right. But it is Ice Cream Man taking the win, moving into the semi-final round, so Spin Master is still alive. But let's head back up to the gate for the last race. Next up, we have the Hot Wheels Del Toro Loco taking on the Hot Wheels Crustacean. Let's go racing. And they're off, Crustacean ahead coming into the jump, big arrow, but they're both heading to the center of the track. Oh, El Toro Loco comes off, Crustacean over the obstacle and takes the win. Wow, what a race. Got to do everything you can to get the win. Let's take another look from track cam. As they launch, Crustacean in the red lane starts to pull away by about a half a truck length coming into the jump. When they jump, they both start heading to the center. Crustacean starts to have problems. El Toro Loco jumps a little further, cuts Crustacean off right at the last minute to take the win. That sure was a wild race and last second pass, but I wouldn't expect anything less from El Toro Loco. And it is El Toro Loco moving into the semi-final round. Let's head back over to the pits and check on the trucks that are moving on. Well, here they are. Seven Spin Master trucks and five Hot Wheels trucks. These trucks didn't quite have enough speed or skill today to move on into the semi-final round, but they have had some great racing and big crashes. But let's meet the trucks that are moving on into the semi-finals. We have Hot Wheels Gravedigger and Spin Master ice cream man 
as well as Hot Wheels Monster Mutt and Hot Wheels El Toro Loco. Hot Wheels has absolutely dominated so far today, but Spin Master's still in it. Let's head up to the gate and get started. Up first, we will have Grave Digger in the green lane, taking on Spin Master Ice Cream Man in the red lane. Let's go racing. And they're off, Grave Digger ahead, coming into the jump, big arrow, but Grave Digger starts to nosedive, lands on the front, hits the jump to the obstacle and just stops. Ice Cream Man wheelies into the obstacle and passes for the win. Wow, Spin Master moving on. Let's take another look in slow-mo. Coming down the ramp, it's Hot Wheels pulling away by about a half a truck going into the jump, but he jumps and starts having problems, hits that jump hard on the front of the obstacle and just stops. But look at Ice Cream Man wheelie into the obstacle over the buses across the line for the win by about a truck. That was such a close race with Hot Wheels Gravedigger ahead in the beginning, but Spin Master Ice Cream Man coming back to take the win to move into the final round. Hot Wheels Gravedigger will have to race one more time to see if he can secure third place. Let's head back up to the gates for the next semi-final pair. Up next, we have Hot Wheels Monster Mutt taking on Hot Wheels El Toro Loco. Who's going to the finals? Let's go racing. Green flag, and they're off. They're even coming into the jump. Big air from both trucks. Oh, but they both start to nosedive and have problems. Which truck's going to go the furthest? Oh, El Toro Loco lands back on the wheels, powers through the finish line to take the win. Wow. Let's take another look. Coming out of the gate, these two are acting like animals. They're so fast coming down the ramp. Huge jump from both trucks, but then they both start to have problems. Both start to crash and flip. El Toro Loco just manages to flip back onto the wheels and power across the line for the win. These snowy Hot Wheel trucks sure don't disappoint here on the snow-covered track. And it is El Toro Loco pulling out the win, heading into the final round. Monster Mutt will have to race Grave Digger one more time to see which one will secure third place in this tournament. But who will be the winner? Will it be Ice Cream Man or El Toro? Toro Loco, we'll find out soon. But back over in the pits, we're getting word that the trucks are all fixed up and ready to go. Let's go see them. There we are. We have Grave Digger taking on Monster Mutt for third place. And for your final round, we will have the Spin Master Ice Cream Man Underdog taking on the Hot Wheels El Toro Loco. Let's head back up to the gates and get the final started. Here we go with the race for third. We have Hot Wheels Grave Digger taking on Hot Wheels Monster Mutt. Let's go racing. And they're off, quick down the ramp, both trucks side by side, coming into the jump. Monster Mutt starts having problems, has a huge crash. Grave Digger with the slap wheelie lands up over the obstacle to take the win. Wow, that was awesome. Let's take another look in slow-mo to see what happened to Monster Mutt. As the green flag drops, both trucks wheel to wheel, coming down the ramp. They have a huge jump, but watch Monster Mutt in the red lane just starts to nosedive. Actually lands on the roof of the truck, but Grave Digger does a slap wheelie and flips over the obstacle to make it to the line for the win. Well, Monster Mutt has had a great race here today with some close finishes and hard crashes. But in that one, it is Grave Digger taking the win in third place in today's event overall. What a race that was. But now I think it's time for the race everybody's been waiting for. It is the final round. Let's head back up to the gates and see the trucks because they are staged and ready to go. Oh yeah, there they are. The underdog, Ice Cream Man, will be in the green lane, racing Hot Wheels El Toro Loco in the red lane. Let's go racing. And they're off. Both trucks side by side coming into the jump. Bigger. Oh, they both start heading to the center. They get together over the center. Who's going to go the furthest? It is Ice Cream Man going the furthest to take the win. Wow. That was a wild one. Let's take another look in slow-mo. When the green flag drops, both trucks have a great launch coming down the ramp. But as they jump, both trucks start heading to the center of the obstacle. They get to together in the center of the jump. Huge crash and Ice Cream Man makes it just a little further over the obstacle for the win. What a wild turn of events we have here in this race today. After the first round, Ice Cream Man was the only Spin Master truck remaining and there were seven Hot Wheels trucks. Ice Cream Man has made it all the way to the end and won this race here today. Wow. Wow. What do you say we head on over to the winner circle and take a look at the trucks that deserve to be there? Oh yeah, there they are, today's top three. It is really wild that Spin Master Ice Cream Man is up there on that podium after the first round, but we've had some great racing here today. And in third place, we have the Hot Wheels Grave Digger Truck. Second place, we have the Hot Wheels El Toro Loco. And up there in first on that podium with the trophy is the Spin Master Ice Cream Man. What a race we've had here today. What do you say we help them all celebrate? Thanks again for watching Our Time for Adventures.
Until next time. <laughs>